so Al Jazeera has been able to get an interview with a former Israeli army general, and he speaks about the civilian deaths going on in Gaza by the Israeli government. This is going to be a very interesting interview. General Yaakov Amadjur, thank you so much for joining me on Upfront. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, after the October 7th attacks, Israel launched a devastating counteroffensive in Gaza. Uh, it caused unprecedented levels of destruction and, of course, civilian deaths. Now, one of the great concerns from the international community, from human rights organizations, and indeed from other nations, has been that Israel has not followed the rules of war, particularly this question of proportionality right now. Uh, for every uh, Hamas soldier killed, there have been at least two civilians in Gaza killed. Does that seem like an acceptable ratio? No, it's not acceptable. And this is why we think that Hamas is making uh, um, crimes, uh, crimes against humanity by fighting within a civilian population, uh, something that is not, not allowed by the international law. The fact that Hamas is using uh, human shield uh, women, children, and old people to defend itself by fighting from their houses and from their streets and don't let these people to go out of the area of the battlefield. No question that it is a, a crime against humanity and uh, Hamas should be punished. And okay, so he's admitting that uh, there, there are people being held hostage and used as human shields by Hamas yet he doesn't explain how it's actually acceptable that the Israeli government is killing civilians two to one to Hamas. And even more than that, we gave the population time uh, to leave the area and we designated safe heavens and Hamas blocked the way to those safe heavens. So by that, pushed the civilians into the battlefield. So you're saying... Okay, then why can't the Israeli government open up safe passages into uh, Israel so that the Palestinians have a safe place to go and safe passage? ...that Israel's killing of Palestinian civilians is a war crime committed by Hamas and not by Israel? I mean, you're, you're basing that argument, if I understand you correctly, on the idea that Hamas is using human shields. Now, first, that has not been proven by any human rights organization. In fact, even if what you're saying is true, that doesn't absolve you of your responsibility to avoid killing civilian targets. You can't just say, well, they're hiding among civilians, so we're going to kill civilians. And you can't just... Yeah, that is correct. Just because um, a bad guy is holding somebody hostage, it doesn't mean you get to kill a bunch of civilians in that area to try to get rid of the bad guy. Just say, well, it's Hamas's fault. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, as you know, and everyone can, can see, we found the Hamas operational centers and the hospitals in uh, Gaza. So if this is not a human shield, I don't know what human shield is. We have pictures of Hamas. That has not uh, been. That has not been proved. That hasn't been proven, sir. No, I, I don't. I, 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 my friends were well, there, so I don't need your uh, approval. Um, wait, um, so, wait. And, and, and you, you, haven't the the you, haven't, you, haven't, you haven't offered the world any proof. I want you to finish your answer, but I just want to be clear for the audience's benefit that under international law, uh, to 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 change the status of a hospital to a to a military target, the burden of proof is on Israel to demonstrate that it is a Hamas command center. It's not enough to say there's a Hamas fighter there. It's not enough to say there's a few members of Hamas there. To change the status, you got to prove that. And you can't just say, take my word for it. I, I, just for clarity. Yeah, and so far, the Israeli government has been pretty weak on evidence of, like, hospitals being command for Hamas. Even though, even though at the one at al Shayif. uh, there was very little evidence of there actually being uh, a command center for Hamas. The bunker that they showed underground didn't show any like 
it didn't show it being like inhabited or anything and it's a bunker that the Israeli government knew about because they helped create it he's like where's the evidence who's 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 who has who has proven this please let me answer the answer we found under the hospital center of command of uh, of Hamas and if you want pictures you can ask the uh, spokesman of the IDF we sent you many of them we found weapon systems under the hospital and we know for sure that at least one hostess was killed in the hospital by Hamas um, people the it's not the only hospital under which there are uh, commander command set and control uh, uh, headquarters of uh, Hamas we have pictures of Hamas people going with children around them so we can we cannot kill them if you want the picture i will send you and uh, the fact and please and the fact you don't uh, don't i i am not I, I know that you will not show it i know uh, your uh, your network you, you will not show it anyhow um and the, the fact that we are killing uh, 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 civilians well, what is the alternative that we will not kill any civilian and we cannot fight hamas because hamas is is uh, fighting from behind the, the civilians. So the alternative not to kill civilians, meaning the meaning, the practical meaning of it is not to to kill Hamas. It to let Hamas to rule the Gaza Strip after this uh, declaration of war and atrocities and primitive and barbarian action which was done by Hamas. And you tell me general Wow, so he's justifying the killings of innocent civilians in order to get rid of Hamas. So, in order to get rid of the bad guys.